Yes, another Shy Star review. Set number 29025. This is the Marine Tank. To Assault Team Counter Strike. King of Land Warfare, the reputation of the Marine Tanks with powerful direct fire, high cross country mobility, and a powerful armor protection. In addition, also deformation of fighting ships involved in the fighting. Equipped with aviation cannon, laser guide bomb, was one commando strikes in Future Fighter. So, what they're talking about here is probably the alternate build. So, there's your main model and this type of ship i don't know what that's supposed to be but we'll build this and here are the pieces and here's a set complete so quantity control is really good because I didn't get any extra pieces or missing pieces except for one chain link track. So included is a brick separator that looks like a fish. And you got two minifigures with no weapons or no accessories, just your tank. These minifigs are just like the other Jystar ones, so I'm not going to do a review on these. I'm just going to go straight to the vehicle. Again, very primitive in design, just like the other ones, but I feel that this is the worst. It just lacks detail. There are a few functions where you could put your minifig in the hatch here. And of course, there's no console or um, steering wheel. And this can tilt. These two can tilt up and down. And this two as well. And most importantly, you can rotate the top. But unfortunately, there's one thing here that's a big flaw. You guessed it. Just like my other Gystar tanks, there is a cheater wheel. However, this one is the worst so far because it's so stiff. There's too much friction here. These wheels will not budge because the axle is too tight so what I have to do is probably change it with Lego if that doesn't work I'm gonna just sand it down so it will spin so once that's done this will roll because putting the tracks it fits really nicely but anyways let's go on to look at the detail or what detail there is to this lacking model so it's not all plain you do have some detailing here which looks pretty decent and in front, you have this, not sure what that is. As you go on to the sides, you have these railings. And to me, I think the most uh, detailed and special part about this set is, or actually these uh, pieces here, because when building them, I was very surprised of the building process, how everything came together. You can see, um, I don't know how to explain that, but I've never uh, built with Lego like this before, this is a new technique or something just I don't know yet. But it did catch me by surprise. Let's take a look. So basically these two halves are put together with the studs on the sides. Again on the rear section, look at this again, it does move but that's just plain. They should have added something there. They're just exposed studs. So let's conclude this review. Despite the stiff axle and the unmovable tank treads, which are fixable, my number one complaint about this is it's actually smaller than I thought because if you compare this with the agency tank, the agency tank is actually cheaper and it looks a little bit bigger too than the marine tank. So I do like the agency tank better than this. However, this does have some redeeming factors. The body of the tank is very lacking, not much detail, but once you get to the primary weapon, that's a nice part about this tank is the build on top and just the looks of it. So the detail is all on the weapon, but the tank itself is just plain and bland. So I got this for a steep $30 with simple packaging, which I think is kind of too much still. 
a way better price would be twenty dollars. So if you could find this for twenty, good luck. If you could, then go grab it. But if it came down between a choice of this and the agency tank, you know I will pick the agency tank. Well, those are my thoughts. This is Brickhead Boy. Thanks for watching.